Here's how to create a custom contact form on Shopify using the free Shopify Forms app. Let's start by installing the Shopify Forms app. You can find the link to the app in the description of the video. Once you click install, you'll need to log into your Shopify account and then you'll be redirected to your store. Once we open the app, we can create our first form. Here, let's select the inline type and let's give our form a name. This name won't be shown to the visitors of your store. In my case, I want to create a returns form and let's create this form. On the left, we have the settings of our form and on the right, we have the preview of what the form will look like. Let's start by changing the title of the form and also the text above the form. Next are the fields of the form. In my case, I don't need the first name, so I can just click here to remove it. Let's add some new fields. Here we can select among some pre-made fields or we can create new one. So that's what I'm going to do. You can choose between many types of fields. Since this is a return form, I'll need an order number. So I'll select single line text. So we can type the label of the field here and we can use this checkbox to make it mandatory to fill out the field before submitting the form. So let's click done. Let's add another field. And let's select new field again. And this time, let's select a drop down list. I'll name my field return reasons. And I'll add the options here. Then click done. And I'll add the last field again. New field. And this time, it's going to be a multi line text. And I'll name it items to be returned. And click done. Next, let's remove this disclaimer text under the submit button. So we can just delete the text here. And also one crucial thing to make this form work. So if we scroll down, we have this option here to activate email notifications so that we receive an email when someone submits the form. Then we finished with the most important things. We can already save. Now we need to add this form to its own page. So we can just click on create landing page on this placement section and then give our page a title. So I'll name it return request and click save. Then we can click on open theme editor to take a look at the page that we've created. So we are on the customizer now. So we can see our form here on a different page. So what I like to do here is to hide this title. This is actually the title of the page. So we can just remove it since we already have a title here on the form. And next we can click on this form block and we can customize our form. We can change the colors and we can change the alignment of the text. And what's interesting to do here is to add some space above and below the form. So I'm just going to increase a little bit the padding. OK, so it looks much better. So we can save. And before testing the form to make sure that everything is working properly, I'll show you where to edit the email where you will receive the notification when your form is submitted. So keep this page open and let's go back to the admin panel and click on settings on the bottom left. And here in the store details, you can change the store email. By clicking on this icon here and this is the email where you will receive the submission okay now so let's go back to this page and let's test this form so i just filled out the form with some test data so i'm just going to click submit to send the message and i have this success message which we can edit in the settings and here's what the notification email looks like so we have each field with its value under it all right that's it for this video thanks for watching and see you on the next one